Hello, and welcome to Scienceware Videos. Today I'll be showing you how to design your very own lunar cycle apron from Scienceware, complete with glow-in-the-dark moon phases. So let's get started. Here is a list of materials you will need to complete the glow-in-the-dark lunar cycle apron or t-shirt from Scienceware. A completed plan sheet on which the moon phases have been neatly drawn and correctly labeled. A black Sharpie marker. I like to have fine and extra fine tip available. Fabric or Sharpie permanent markers in assorted colors. A tube of glow-in-the-dark fabric paint. A small paper plate to serve as the palette for the paint. Covering the paint with a small piece of aluminum foil makes for easy cleanup. A small paintbrush with stiff bristles or Q-tips if you want disposable paintbrushes. A smooth piece of cardboard or heavy duty paper like a poster board. A couple of binder clips, clothes pins, or jumbo paper clips and an apron or t-shirt with the lunar cycle lettering and the outline pre-screened on the fabric. Start by clipping the cardboard and apron together, making sure the cardboard is under the design area. Keep the fabric as smooth as possible. To keep projects from getting mixed up, it's a good idea to write your initials or name somewhere on the fabric. I usually suggest the lower right hand corner of the apron or the inside bottom seam of the t-shirt. With your completed plan sheet as a reference, use a fine tip black Sharpie marker and carefully draw in the phases, starting with the new moon and moving counterclockwise, just like the moon's revolution around the Earth. Neatly label each phase with your black Sharpie. You may want to switch to an ultra-fine Sharpie marker for labeling. Be sure to refer to your plan sheet to avoid mistakes in labeling and spelling. The next step is to apply the glow-in-the-dark paint. Put a dime size amount of paint on your plate and use a Q-tip or a small paintbrush. Paint the phases as they appear to us here on Earth. The natural glow that I am applying to this apron goes on clear, but will glow green in the dark. The glow paint also comes in green, orange, and yellow, and these colors are easier to see when applying. That ensures that you don't miss any of the areas. You want to be sure to completely cover the areas you want to glow. Don't forget the moons in the inner circle and the moon in the lunar cycle title. You can even dab a bit of glow paint on some of the stars. I recommend you go back and add a second coat of glow paint for full coverage. This is a great place to take a break or stop for the first day so the glow paint can dry completely. When the glow paint has dried to the touch, continue your project by adding a sun at the top. You might even want to draw a small rocket to the moon. I like to have sample clip art images for a guide to freehand or trace. Color the sun, rocket, earth, and lettering with fabric or Sharpie permanent markers. I've tried using other brands of permanent markers other than Sharpie and found they are more likely to bleed and fade even when setting the ink with the iron. For this reason, I recommend markers specifically labeled for fabric or Sharpie permanent markers. This last part is optional but highly recommended. You can find crystals paint at Walmart or any of your local arts and crafts stores. It comes in a variety of colors, but the clear crystals, sometimes labeled as diamonds or icicles, is my favorite. It can be applied directly over any marker color and dries quickly, giving a touch of iridescent sparkle. To this apron, I also used a small amount of yellow crystals to enhance the sun's rays 
and to add additional twinkling stars. Remember, before wearing or washing your Lunar Cycle Project, the ink should be set with an iron. Directions for setting the ink, care and washing instructions, and all the other resources can be found on sciencewear.net. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to make an out of this world Lunar Cycle apron. Make sure to like and follow us to see even more great Sciencewear projects.